Praise the Lord. Bless you. How are you today? Wow. Isn't this a great day? I'm telling you, this day is great. I'm telling you, the sun ain't shining. It's still a good day. Doesn't matter. Amen. It's rainy. I'm telling you. Uh, but it does not matter. It's still good, isn't it? It's good to be above ground. Come on, somebody. It's good to be above ground, allowing God, allowing you to do. Amen. Whatever it is you have to do. Heart still pumping. Come on. We just thank God for the day. Hey, come on. Give God praise right now. Yes, Lord. God is good. Yes, he is. Listen, we're just so glad that you tuned in to this broadcast. I'm telling you all over. Uh, listen, the United States of America, you that's all over the world. We're so glad. Glory to God. We're glad that you're here. Yes, we are. Why? Because you are friends. Come on, somebody. It's good to have a friend. I, who need a friend? I need a good friend, huh? <laughs> you that? I'm telling you, I need a good friend. I'm so glad that you are my friend. Glory to God. Amen. I find a good friend. Stay by my side. Glory. I'm going to stay by yours, huh? We're going to stay connected. Let's stay connected. Lord, Amber, just sound like a song. Uh, let's stay connected. <laughs> it's good, amen, to be connected to good people, huh? I'm telling you, stay connected. It's like a big old train. You notice the train, you know, and you see that train and you sitting at the train tracks. Oh, my God. And what happens? The train keeps coming. The train keeps coming. They are connected. They make one train. Catch what I'm saying. Amen. If they was disconnected and then guess what? There'd be two trains, but it's one train. That's what we have to be. Huh? Oh, my goodness gracious. Back up that train and hook up to somebody. Glory to God. Come back and hook up to me. Glory so we can make the train. Uh huh. This train going to glory. Huh? This train don't need no. You know what I'm saying. You know the song. <laughs> we are so glad, amen, about God doing what he got to do. Listen, it's a wonderful day, huh? Somebody say, will you be my neighbor? You remember that one? Not for your time. God is just good to us. I'm so glad that you tuned in today. I'm telling you, uh, it just, listen, my socks is just, my socks are just going off my feet. Why? Because I'm just so happy. Somebody, I heard a guy say with a big beard, happy, happy, happy. <laughs> hey, man, are you happy today? You need to be. Stop being sad. What good is it going to do? Come on, straight up your face. It don't make no difference. You frowned up. You just looking like you're looking. Hey, man, if, if you look in the mirror, you start smiling. Woo Help me, Lord Jesus. Well, you know what? Today, we're just so glad that you tuned in. We have a couple surprises. We want to show you some things. God is just good, isn't he? The Lord is just good to us. Hey, Amen. Well, listen, I want to stop talking. I want to send you to the program because I want you to see something right now. Uh, we have a surprise, First Lady. She was caught off guard. And boy, I'm telling you, but get ready, get your napkins in your hand, your handkerchiefs, because you're going to see some something today in a few minutes, amen, this first half of this broadcast, that's going to knock your socks off. Is it? Yes, it is. You're going to say, oh, my goodness gracious. Listen, there's two people that are responsible for this, Margaret Faulkner, amen, and Angela Young. They are responsible for allowing the kids to love on First Lady. Listen. We want you to see this. We're going to take you right to the broadcast and watch this. You are going to listen now. You might as well get your napkins now. Please get your handkerchiefs now. Because I'm going to tell you something. It's going to bring some deep crying now. Glory to God before it even come out. Oh, hallelujah. Well, look, we're going to go and let you see it for yourself. And I'll see you on the other side. I'll see you in a minute. Bye-bye. For going over to the other side of staying there. Because God has never failed me. God has never forsaken me. Listen, God has been my friend. Even when we get to a place where we don't like ourselves. Hello, anybody got there? Huh? Look in the mirror and say, you, you ain't where you need to be. Come on here. God still loves on us, huh? Come on. He didn't throw me away. He didn't throw you away. I want you to just give God praise back where you're sitting right now. Because God is just good. Glory to God. Amen. Amen, amen. With that, I'm going to call my, my grandson up. Uh, let me see this one. Uh, I'm going to call my grandson. I think he was. He want to say something, I guess. Where's he at? Send him on up here. Amen. Amen, amen. Come on. God is good. I love God so much. I'm telling you, I just love being saved. I love being saved. Let's see my grandson. Good, good. I got a microphone. Oh, 
Dear First Lady, this poem is about you and how we all love you. You're the lady no one could ever be. I couldn't cut the times that you helped me. There are many times you came through, don't have a clue how you do what you do. You do so much, we couldn't ask for more, so we took this time to tell you that we adore. Your work ratings are through the roof, and everyone in this church has proof. You still do your best when your days get shady, but all I'm trying to say is we love you, First Lady. Praise the Lord. How you enjoyed that? Wasn't that awesome? I'm telling you, that was good, wasn't it? That was awesome. Glory to God to see First Lady uh, come in and uh, that she got blessed. You know, I want to tell you something. You see how unexpectedly she got blessed because uh, of her being who she is? You know, I want to take you to the second part of this uh, where I talked about 
uh, and given a message in dealing with the same day in dealing with no good thing where God will uphold them that walk upright. You know, it's important for you to know that walking with God, God will do some great things for you. Yes, he will. Unexpectedly, just like you saw earlier, where uh, they blessed First Lady. She wasn't expecting it, but they gave her some great gifts and her heart was was really, really glad of what they done. I want to tell you something. The same thing can happen to you. The same identical thing can happen to you right now if you allow the Lord to be the Lord of your life. No good thing will he uphold for them that walk upright before him. I'm going to take you right back into the message today. I want you to go back into the service and I want you to hear attentively what is being said. Amen. And I guarantee you, you can be on the end of it just like First Lady was and how God blessed her. She didn't even ask for it, but God just put it on somebody else's heart to do that for her. He'll do the same thing for you. No good thing will God will uphold for them to walk up right before him. You saw it by her unexpectedly getting blessed. Amen. By the children. So I want you to hear, amen, what the Lord is saying to the church. Amen. I'll see you on the other side. Bless you now. This is District Carol Wallace. We just thank God for you, amen. And uh, we just thank God today. We're here, amen, with a testimony about miracles that happened at AFC. I'm a young man here right now with me, hey, Mr. Deion Waters, amen, a semi-pro uh, football player. And uh, he was diagnosed with cancer. And uh, Mr. Waters, would you tell us exactly what happened? Uh, working out to play football, broke my foot, went to the doctor. He said, you have cancer. First thing I did, I called my pastor and explained to him the situation. And he said, we don't have cancer. We rebuked that and got prayer. Amen. So I remember um, you did have surgery first, uh, surgery to put pins in your, um, rods in your legs, right? Because you're breaking your legs. Yeah. Uh, the type of cancer that I have is a, something like a, a bone cancer, a rare bone cancer that only been seen like once every 40 years. So they had to put rods in my hip and femur for I wouldn't continuously fracture my hip and femur. Amen. Well, you know, um, he came to church and uh, I let God use me. And so uh, when he came out of the surgery for them putting the rods in, uh, I asked God, well, what's next? And the Lord told me one Sunday morning to, to have him just to walk around the sanctuary. You remember that? Ms. Yes, uh, we walked around the sanctuary for about 25 minutes that day. <laughs> that day and um, I feel great. At, it's that feeling that you get after you have the, the, a dynamic word put down to your soul. And that day, the next day I had to go to the doctor and we was getting great test results ever since that day. Amen, amen. Because uh, after they, after uh, God was giving me instructions for him to walk around the sanctuary, the people that was with him, um, what we did was we, uh, after God said, okay, now's enough, we prayed and we believed together. And I want to tell you, honest God, truth, amen, I'm looking for God to heal him. And that's what happened that God healed him. Uh, yes, uh, shortly after, about two weeks after, they said I had to go get one more round of chemotherapy. But they did MRIs for three days to see how half the cancer progressed and whether the radiation or the chemotherapy do. And uh, my doctor was like, we can't find it. We don't see the cancer. I was like, wow. The first thing I did is that thank you, Jesus. And uh, I, was, I was just so ecstatic. I just, I just couldn't stop. I was actually crying in, in, the, in the doctor's office. Amen. Well, that's a great testimony. We thank God for what God's doing at AFC. Uh, miracles do happen. Amen. It happened at Bonifay Cathedral. We just thank God for you listening to this great testimony, this young man. Amen. Semi-pro football player. Amen. Mr. Deion Waters, that God healed. Amen. Somebody, not that you heard, but now you've seen uh, on this tape that he, God does heal. And he says now he's cancer free. Well, we thank God for it. Amen. If you have something wrong, 
come and see us. We'll pray for you too. In Jesus' name. You want to say something to them as we go? Believe. Always have faith. We're going to have obstacles in our way all the time. But if you got a good rapport with God and you're in the church home, miracles can't happen. Amen. All right, well, we got to go. Thank you, Mr. Waters, for, for being here for that testimony. We just thank God for you. Amen. And we thank God for you out there. And we hope to see you. Amen. You need prayer. Come see us down at Bonfay Cathedral. We will pray for you. We know God will set you free. Remember, your miracle is waiting on you. What do you think? Amen. Wasn't that awesome? Listen, the word says no good thing would he uphold for them to walk up right before him. I'm telling you, you need to know that if you change your life, if you give your life to Christ, if you make Jesus your Lord, he will do so many things for you. Like you saw the first half of this show that first lady got blessed. Why? Unexpectedly. Only because she was helping others. She's been helping others, doing things for others. And so God blessed her tremendously. I want you to know, you know what? The same thing can happen to you. It doesn't matter about what you've done. It's about where you are going, not where you've been. You've been in your past. It's behind you. But you want to go forward in life. You need to look at what God is going to do for you now. What is it? No good thing would you uphold for them to walk up right before him. All you do is change your ways. All you have to do is say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm sorry for what I've done. I'm sorry, Lord, help me. And I'm going to tell you something. God will come in and he will help you. He will bless you. He will restore you. There's some people out there right now that need to be restored from, from the Lord. You need God's grace and his mercy upon your life. You know something? Why wait? Why wait? You can have it now. It's an awesome thing to have God bless you. It's an awesome thing to have God bless you right now. Not tomorrow, right now. You need to give your life to Christ. You need to say, Lord, I'm ready. I am ready for you to change my life. I am ready, Lord. I'm tired of my old life. I want something new. That's all you have to do. If you do that, I guarantee you one thing. God will do something for you. God will bring it. I'm telling you, he will make you brand new. Oh, yeah, come pray this prayer with me. Pray this prayer. Say, Father, forgive me my sins. I need help from you. Lord, I believe that Jesus was raised from the dead. Now I ask him to be the Lord of my life. Come into my heart. Come into my soul. Come into my mind. Save me, Lord. Save me, Lord, in Jesus' name, amen. Well, if you said that prayer, I want you to know something. That's the beginning, amen, of the walk with God. That's the beginning of salvation. I want you to contact me. I want you to contact me, amen, at the address below. You can call the prayer line or you can even go on our website and you can email me. Or if you like writing letters, write a letter, amen, and tell me that you prayed that prayer. Call the church and just leave your name and, and we'll call you back. Call us. We'll call you back and say, Pastor, I, I made that prayer. I want to know what else to do. And no matter what part of the country you live in, no matter what part of the city, doesn't matter what part of the world you live in, we will contact you. We will call you back. We will write you. We will email you. Amen. Because your soul is important to us. You know what? Don't worry about where you're being. Worry about where you're going. And if you make Jesus your choice, I'm telling you, you're on the right train. You're on the right bus. You're on the right plane. Glory to God. And you'll be going to a place, amen, in God where God will take you out of where you are. Things will be better in your life. Listen, if you need healing, he's got it for you. I pray right now for someone that need healing. Amen. Glory to God. That God heal you. Touch your body right now. God is a healer. Now, there are so many things that God has done for people that's been connected to this ministry. We thank God for healing. We thank God for what he can do, restoring people's lives. If you are one that need to be restored, you need to contact us tonight. You need to let us know 
Amen. I need help from you. I, I, I beseech you, brother and sister. Amen. By the mercies of God, if you would just contact us, if you would let us pray with you. If you would write us, we will pray. Amen. We put you on our prayer list. Not a sick list. It's called a prayer list. That we will pray that God will do exceedingly abundantly more than you can think or ask according to the power that worketh within us. What kind of power? The power of the Holy Spirit. Amen. That will bless you. That will restore you. That will make you new again. Amen. Don't hold on to old things. It'll, bear, it'll burden you down. Amen. Even uh, your past, even from a uh, childhood, you need to let it go. Loose it and let it go. Amen. It's time for you to be a new creature in Christ Jesus. Amen. I guarantee you, we got the formula. God will change your life. Amen. Remember, no good thing will you uphold from them to walk up right before him. God is a God of restoration. He is a God that we restore. He is a God that will fix whatever is wrong in your life. Remember, God is who he is. Amen. He's on the throne. He's the alpha and he's the omega. And it's nothing too hard for him. The Lord Jesus Christ can fix anything. Listen, I don't care what you in. If you don't have Jesus as your Lord, you need to do it right now. Well, look, we just thank you. Amen. For tuning into this broadcast. We thank you today that you are one that needs salvation. We thank you. Glory to God that you will be calling us, contacting us, calling us. Amen. Writing us, emailing us, whatever you want to do, send us a letter. And for all our partners, we just thank you so much for, for this broadcast. We thank you, partners, for supporting this ministry. This particular broadcast, we thank you for it. Con remember, continue. I pray for all the partners. Amen. They're partnering with us. We just thank you for what you've done. Amen. Well, listen, the clock on the wall, you know, I say it's just about all. We just thank you. And we thank our partners and we just thank you for tuning in today. And we say, listen, we want you to come and be a part of service in Union City, Detroit. Come down uh, to Abundant Faith Cathedral where, listen, the spirit of the Lord is going on. We just thank God for, for miracles, for, for healings. Uh, people are getting healed and set free. They're getting their mind renewed, uh, their life renewed. And we just thank God for everything the Lord is doing for us. And we just thank God for you. Well, we, we are here in the outreach center right now. We're not in the worship center. We're in the outreach center. And we just thank God, amen, that we are broadcasting for you, amen, so you can come and get set free for whatever is ailing you. Remember the message today. No good thing will he uphold for them to walk up right before him. God will change your situation. Glory to God. It's like First Lady got blessed, amen, unexpectedly. That's the way God will come in. He'll come in, boom, and he'll bless you the same way. Well, listen, you come back, see us next week, same time, same station. Tell a friend, glory to God. Amen. If you know somebody in the city of Detroit, you would have them to come and tell them, listen, go down to Abundant Faith Cathedral. Amen. Where the feast of the Lord is going on. And we'll be glad to receive you. Amen. Remember, write us. Remember the partners. Amen. Continue to support this broadcast. And we'll be so grateful that you do. Well, we have to go now. And we just say, remember, come to AFC. Why? Because your miracle is waiting on you. Bye-bye. See you later now.
Praise the Lord. God bless you. How are you this morning? Amen. You know, this is Pastor Wallace. Amen. We're coming live right now. We're shooting. It's something that we want to do. Amen. As you saw the scenery, amen, before uh, it came to me, we just want to ask you a question. Amen. Glory to God. Do you live like this? Well, there's others that are less fortunate than you. And we at AFC, we really believe in ministry. We also believe in really helping those, amen, that need help. And, and I'm here and I'm asking you, glory to God, that if you would just take the time to write a check, glory, to the AFC Miracle Broadcast so we can send for missions. We do missions work around the world. Amen. Just look at this place. I guarantee you, you don't live like this. But I've been in other foreign countries and I can tell you people are very poor. Can you just place it in your heart to give? You know, we're working uh, in Africa and also now in the Philippines. We're building a school in the Philippines. Would you help us? Would you partner with us? Would you send your donations, amen, to the AFC Miracle Broadcast and say, you know what? I want to partner with you, Pastor Wallace, because I believe in helping also. Would you do that for us? We'll be so grateful. Send all your donations. Glory to God. Today, FC Miracle Broadcast. Missions. May God bless you. Amen. My name is Mike Duggan and I'm watching the Bell Global Network. Hey, keep it locked. It's your boy D. Hattie watching the Bell Global Network. You know how it is. Hi, I'm Charlie Langton and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, this is Martha Reeves and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, everybody. I'm telling you everything that happened to me that was good, God did it. I'm Evelyn Turrentine, AG, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Pastor D. Alexander Bullock of Preachers of Detroit, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. This is Bishop Edgar Van of Second Ebenezer Church in Detroit, Michigan, and you're watching the Bell Global Network. Hi, I'm Bernadette Stannis. You know me best as Thelma from the TV show Good Times, and you are watching Bell Global Network. What's going on y'all, it's Mr. Bell. Some know me as Anton Quarboy Bell. Others know me as Elder Anton Bell. I am co-CEO of Bell Global Network, VGN TV 2090. And I want to invite you right now to get your own broadcast. I'm calling all ministers, all politicians, all business owners. Get your own broadcast right now, starting at $99. And if you have an idea for a TV show, we can bring your idea to reality. We have packages available that includes production, and facilities. Also, we have advertising packages starting at through to $25. So don't hesitate. Give us a call at 313-355-7877. Once again, that's 313-355-7877 to make an appointment today. You never ever let me down and when I'm sinking and sin, you never ever let me drown. You're my life, you're my security. You took my insecurities to put me in the lion's den and took out all the fear of me and gave me a limit to undeniable faith. In your arms, I'm safe. And for that, I give you 